Affinity Designer does not yet have a tracing option. I'm sure they'll bring it in, but it's a feature that they don't have at the moment. And that is tracing an image or a picture or a raster file and converting it to a vector graphic. So I've done this, I've traced this in an application called Inkscape. And I brought it into Affinity Designer. And there's two ways you can bring it in. Of course, if you just place it, it comes in looking like a PNG file. So you can't edit it as a vector file. However, if you open it and then copy and paste it back into your page, it comes in as a vector. It's exactly the same image. But um, curiously, there's only one way that you can bring it in as a vector file. It can be quite messy when you bring it in. It's not really up to Adobe Illustrator as yet, but Affinity Designer is powerful and there's no doubt that they'll get there. You'll see that we can edit it in the geometry. If it's a vector file, it gives you these options, divide or separate curves. And of course, either one of them seem to do the same thing. The moment we do one separate or divide, we have a multitude of layers, so each one of our shapes within our vector file seems to go onto a new layer, or a new, it becomes a new shape. As I said, it can be quite messy, but it gives you the, a, the powerful option of editing and redoing or changing colors, etc., etc. But uh, it, the more complex your vector file is, of course, the more work you, that's involved. 